Alright guys, hopefully this isn't too big of a jump scare, and hopefully this is a welcome jump scare, but I am recording at a airport right now, so we will be uh, doing something special. So, um, I'm actually doing a, a face cam this video, and if you guys want to see more, I will do that more as well. So, hopefully I am able to not be super distracting while talking about these robots, but first off, we have been from... 11811A. Uh, side rollers may be meta. First four or fast scores. Last four slow. Okay, so let's, let's pull up the video on the airport Wi Fi. Let me turn the, the audio down. Okay, it looks pretty pretty good, but kind of inconsistent on where it goes in. So the first one didn't go in super, super far. I guess that. Mm, okay. And then here is the, the, the intaking from the, the pipes. It's pretty fast as well. I'm going to give this one a, an A tier. Solid. Solid build. The right side uh, in not... The right side in not on the same hole as the right as the left side. And we don't have all the parts in the house. That's why we have stuff like 3.25 inch Odom. Okay. That's a pretty whack setup for the Odom. I have to say, yeah. I agree. So, I mean, looks okay. Uh, I think... I mean, I like your your chassis supports, uh, but I feel like they kind of dig too far into the actual space where you kind of should put your your uh, intake and other sections. But I think it's you know it's 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 kind of a an ongoing process with the build, of course. But I wonder what's the thing on the back here. Is that a oh, it's a poly piece that like Echo has for their for their their Odom wheel. It's pretty nice. Okay, I think it's on the B tier. Not bad. Uh, when Tristan sucks at cutting wires, what happened? Let's see. All right. There, yeah, we don't we don't want to see that. Uh, F tier. I think you want to you want to cut your shafts instead of those wires. Hi KJ. Okay, we're not gonna watch any more. Hi six video team. Please rate. I'm from middle school team. It's my favorite time or my first time building a CAD. The DT is 450 RPM, 66 watt motor, 36 to 48 ratio on 2.75 inch wheels. I didn't brace for the front for a little, uh, little wheel mech and intake. I'm also unsure of which should be the front or the back. Okay, so uh, I think this would be the front. Um, to be honest, uh, unless, wait, wait, whatever side have, you have more space on should be the front so we can count this together, right? So you have starting from the, the motor, you have one, two, three, four five six you have six slots here you have one two three four five six seven so actually you should have it on the right on this side over here however you have that cross space on the top so i would still put it i would still put it on the top on the other side just because you have this top race here which means that your which means that your intake will be harder on the side since the the top race is going to take away some of your intake space so you can't make it as 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 flat as to be steeper so um i'm gonna give it a beat here but that's kind of just one thing to think about, right? If you're, if this wasn't here, I would totally pick this side. But this is the, since this is here, I would pick this side since they're relatively close, only half an inch apart. Uh, okay, eight three two eight zero Y. All right. Okay, um, B tier. I don't know. Rate the drivetrain. I'm not gonna rate the drivetrain anymore. So this is a long one. Hey, so I'm making my first ever drivetrain kind of in CAD. Um. That's a whole lot of yap. Uh, so let's just take a look at this, though. Okay, so first off, this is really whack. I don't know why you're... Like, first off, uh, use screw joints, right? You can use, use screw joints, and you can right here. You're using gears to connect these. They're, these aren't not powered, right? We're not directly powered, so you can use screw joints on all these uh, to not have that shaft sticking out. And for the actual powering, driving motor, you don't need the shaft either. Just like cut the or you, you don't need that the shaft to be that long cut the shaft here put the shaft collar on the inside right definitely put that on the inside that's a huge uh thing right away one other thing is this is really wide i would this is what one this is what one two three four five six thirty it's, it's 33 wide that's way too wide um just go for 30 go for 30 i like at most 30 probably like Preferably 26 or 27. And that's pretty good. Um, anyways, yeah, add another cross race here. That's about it. This one's getting a getting a D tier. Um, 
Yeah. 26 watt chassis, 450 RPM, 2.75 wheels. This one's pretty nice. I just build your drive chain like one of these. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna lie, this is meta. This is not meta. Oh, let me rate these ones. Uh, this one's gets a gets an A tier. This one, uh an F tier. Okay, need of X, four motor green cartridge, all pre-cut parts from super kit, feedback and help needed. Alright. Um yeah, so just listen to the same thing I said to the other teams. And also here, I don't know. Like, I, I guess you're trying to do the, the China Tech. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure XRP did a couple years ago, but you're not doing it right. The standoff is way too long. I mean, just like not really that useful at this point. I would uh, change your ratio so that you're not using a ratio where those gears uh, need to be half cut, right? Just use like a better ratio at this point. And then you don't need to cut, cut your gears uh, like. 36 to 48 sometimes some teams don't need to cut the yeah you don't need to cut the 48s using three, three point two five inch wheels so i'm gonna start these here as well uh we have no rubber bands and no durlin so this is what i got right now uh, i mean stuff is start i like the confidence with uh the mechanism wheels those are definitely uh not really seen that often but definitely like to see some teams kind of play around with uh, designs so that's nice and the the eight wheel drive design is pretty cool as well I like that um like your your tank placement and the solenoids on the tank it's also nice as well overall solid builds however weird weird stack up here you have a you have a pillow bearing stacked on the c channel and a cross brace stacked on top of that pillow bearing and it's a low strength pillow bearing too so maybe i'll change that um and also like this whole tower, I mean, kind of braced, but you didn't have it braced across. I braced it across definitely, one by one. Uh, standoff, C channel, whatever it is, braced it across definitely. I'm gonna give this one a, a C tier. Right, quite a bit of improvements to be made here. Glow up, yeah, that's a glow up. I think. The, uh, there, new versus old. Which one wins? Which one wins? Yo, is this a? Don't don't tell me this is a. Ah, uh, a, that's a high stakes robot. I'm not rating this one. Don't rate DC, just other stuff. Okay. We will, we, we will only be rating the drivetrain on this one then. We will only rate the drivetrain. This drivetrain sucks. Wow. It's not even connected. That's why he doesn't want me to rate it. Alright, anyways, we're gonna move to, to the other stuff. Um, Not bad. Not a bad intake, I guess. Kind of goes up here. Hero bot style intake. Put on the top. Uh, Not my favorite. I'm gonna give it a C tier. That's alright. Please with the drivetrain. No, I'm not ready in the drivetrain. Still, can only uh, cab because camp, uh, camp is until a week. 15 inch, 9.25 pounds, 600 RPM drive, lifting tray with capacity of 9. Okay. Okay. That's that's okay, definitely. It's definitely okay. Um, that's where like, I've seen this like 20 times already. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the little wheels, a uh, new bot, which is right here. Um, I'm going to use one a B tier. I don't. How do you. Oh, yeah, you can score. How do you score on the on the top? I, I don't understand, but all right. Um, hopefully I don't, I don't get DMs. D I don't get copyright struck for that music. I, I can't do anything about it. The store is playing it. I'm good. Do 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 do. All right, I'm probably horribly off pitch. Anyways, uh, this is this is it's pretty cool. I saw this video where he dropped it though. This is a uh, this is pretty epic. Let's watch it together. Uh, that's, that's instantly an S tier right here. You can see the that's from a pretty high distance. You can see that shadowed form as it's falling onto the floor. Clearly not AI generated. Bam. And the camera shake. S tier robot right here. Alright, anyways, that's all we have for today. Thank you.